Now over the last few months, we've seen a ton of opportunity with AI, but I genuinely feel like this is one of the greatest ways to be using AI, specifically if you're in the e-commerce world. But I know you wanna get started right now, so let's get going, let's whip through this. Using today to host our business is going to be Etsy. Now the reason why I chose Etsy is because it's a great way to find new examples of products that you could be selling, and it is super, super easy to set up. So the barrier to entry for this is very minimal, and obviously if you are more advanced, you could take this idea to your Shopify store. You can create it on your own platform. But for now, let's show you Etsy because you can still make a ton of money following this exact strategy on Etsy alone. Let's first look over some of these sellers. Let's see what people are selling. And uh, in this case, let's see what people are getting away with selling because I personally think this stuff is absolutely trash. But Reality Glitch UK has 25,000 sales. And we can come down to the bottom here. And this usually gives us a good indication of when they started. So these guys started in 2021. They've made over 25,000 sales. Let's say that each sale was around £10. They would have made 250k in revenue uh, just selling these crappily designed t-shirts. Now this next door is super interesting. The Art of Silentium. Now, these guys are selling a Van Gogh t-shirt, AI-generated piece of art on this t-shirt in the style of Van Gogh. Let's see how many sales these guys are making. Let's see what else they're selling. They have 2,630 sales with an average order value of probably around £25, which is like $30. So much better margins than the last one. None of it's that special. It looks like it was made on Mid Journey 1, but now we have Mid Journey 5. So Liam, where are you going with this? What is the next steps and how can we start this? And how can we make millions selling AI art online? Let's get started. I'm gonna show you exactly what prompts to put in. I'm gonna show you how to set up an Etsy store. I'm gonna show you how you can automatically fulfill your orders so there is nothing for you to do and it's super, super simple and easy. And then I'm gonna show you how to launch it. First thing we're gonna do is obviously come over to ChatGPT to create us some new names for our business. In this case, we wanna start a business that is selling cool looking art on different pieces of clothing so let's ask ChatGPT to create something for us cool so now ChatGPT has spat out some names so i really like palette threads so let's go and create a google email so we can sign up to etsy with this brand name so let's jump back on over to etsy now and create our very own account cool so it's super simple to sign up to etsy you literally chuck in your email create a password and you're in and now we're going to see that we have an account so we can come on over to sell on etsy here and we can click get started now you're going to go through your shop preferences where you set up your payout methods uh, where you're based what currency you want to charge in and uh, all of that good stuff so i'm going to skip through this and the next part we're going to go through our products so for now obviously we don't have a listing right now so this is what we need to do we're now going to come on over to discord and if you haven't got discord it's a free app to create and it's going to allow us to use an ai app called mid journey mid journey is literally one of the greatest ai tools of all time it gives us so much flexibility when it comes to creating ai art very easily and you can use single prompts to create like masterpieces it's insane so let's go through that right now so as you can see i use mid journey a ton and we're going to be using it for our business today now remember when we found that store that was selling that van gogh t-shirt well let's see if we can get something similar made using ai let's first create that art piece and see what we can do with it so all you need to do when you've downloaded mid journey is you can go into a private chat with mid journey providing you've paid for like the commercial use i think it's like 20 dollars per month but this is going to allow you to use the images that you create commercially and actually resell them as well without any legal issues or worries there and we're going to type in slash imagine and what it's going to do is going to open up this prompt now for the purpose of this art piece i want it to be in a van gogh art style of a cat wearing a suit and a top hat and i want it to be a realistic painting now the next step that is crucial is this is potentially going to be going on a t-shirt or a hoodie so we need the aspect ratio to be you know horizontal rather than square shape because we want it to cover the t-shirt it would look pretty weird if it was just a square so what we're going to do after our prompt we're going to add two dashes ar and then we're going to be able to change our format so in this case we're going to try one free now in the meantime whilst we're waiting for our artwork to be produced by mid journey it might take a few minutes when it is on version 5 we're going to come on over to an app called printify now what printify is is a print on demand service so essentially there's warehouses all over the world that act as print houses and manufacturers for different brands online now this is a huge opportunity for us because what this allows us to do is it allows us to upload our own designs onto these t-shirts and different merch pieces and we can sell them on our own website now when the order is placed 
It is then sent to these print suppliers who then print your order package your order and ship the order to your customer this also removes any crazy shipping delays that you would see traditionally with the likes of drop shipping where you'd be waiting you know anywhere from a month to two months for your customer to get their order print on demand solves that problem if your customer's in the us then they're going to be printing in the us and shipping from the us meaning the customer can end up getting their order a couple of days after placing it on your store this is such a good opportunity for us and it is such a good business model if you can really crack it so let's go ahead let's create a printify account because this is what we're going to be using when we plug it into our Etsy store. I'm going to come on over to my stores. Now, my store, you can come on over and you can connect this using an API into Etsy. So this is where it gets super, super powerful. Let's grant access on Etsy side of things. This is going to allow basically Etsy orders to speak to Printify to alert Printify when an order has been placed on Etsy, meaning we don't have to do anything. We don't have to do any of the heavy lifting or any sales processing when it comes to placing these orders. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're going to be using t-shirts. So let's look at some of the t-shirts that are offering. One t-shirt I would say is pretty much a go-to is Gildan. Now, this is $7.25 per t-shirt without any prints on. So let's use this for our example it's a unisex t-shirt and what Printify is going to allow us to do is take artwork pieces and upload it onto their platform now once we've chosen what products we want to sell whether it's t-shirts hoodies pillowcases duvet covers whatever it is we can upload our artwork on Printify and place it onto these t-shirts we can then connect that to our Etsy store and when people place an order on Etsy through to Printify and the order is shipped out from the manufacturer and sent to our customers so this really streams down the entire process for us it makes it super super easy our only real job is managing our etsy store and then also coming up with cool unique designs that we can then put onto these different products and let's start putting our ai artwork onto these t-shirts to see how it's going to look so i'm going to come down i'm going to choose underground threads these guys are based in the us and if your store is based in the us which it most likely is you can select these guys and this will be your go-to print manufacturer these are the guys who are going to be shipping out your orders and if you're sat there wondering well what if i sell to people in multiple locations that's completely fine you'll be able to set it up on the back end so that when you get an order from the uk then your uk warehouse is going to be the team that steps in prints the order and fulfills it for you if you get an order in canada then the canadian team is going to step in do that printing and send the order out so i think you get the idea there but it is super super powerful so let's click underground threads and click start designing and mid journey has now finished our cats in the style of van gogh wearing a suit and a top hat look how fucking sick this looks it's so so good I'm so glad we was born in a time when we get to play around with AI generated art because this shit is so fun. This little cat right here looks like the Don. He is fucking cashing in checks, driving around in his old Rolls Royce and he's making money. He's hustling in them streets. He is the guy that I want on my t-shirt. So what we're going to do now we found our winner, we're going to come down and we're going to select U3, which is the number three art which is this art piece here. So it goes one, two, three, four, and we're gonna upscale that piece of art. So what that's gonna do is gonna make it much bigger for us so that we can use it on our t-shirt. And here we go. We have our upscaled piece of art. We're gonna open it up in our browser and then we're gonna save the image down. Our cat Don artwork is now complete. Now then gonna come on over to upload our cat Don piece of art into Printify so we can see exactly what it looks like on one of our t-shirts. We're then gonna scale it up so the world can see the beauty of this piece of art. And we're gonna add a couple more colors. So I want ash, I want black. I want Tennessee orange, I want Irish green, and I want royal blue. And then what's gonna happen is this piece of art is gonna be on all of these different skew of products and different color options for people. Now you can see it says low resolution here. So there's a way to get around this. Basically what they're saying is if this was printed, the artwork will probably be low resolution. So we can come on over to Pixel Cut, we can upload our image and grab our AI Cat Don and we can scale it up up to four times. There you go, we now have our AI Cat Don in HD and four times bigger than the original quality. So let's remove this from Printify and let's upload our new version here and see if that's fixed it. And there you go, you can now see it says it is high resolution. So hooray, we fixed our problem there and the Cat Don now looks much better on all of these t-shirts. Now we're then gonna save the product and what that's going to do is it's going to give us some mock-ups of what our t-shirts look like on these different avatars. This gives us basically an image that we can now use on our Etsy listing to show off our product. We're then going to come down and we're going to give our product a name. So in this case, it is Cat Don. Now obviously, you can get super creative here or you can just go to ChatGPT and say, write me a funny description for my t-shirt product that is about a cat who is a top salesman of sardines. 
use these features in your description. Then we're gonna come back on over to Printify and we're gonna copy these main features that they originally provided us, which gives people an idea of what the material is, how it's made, that kind of thing. So introducing the Catastic Sardine Salesman, unisex heavy cotton tee, this perfectly designed tee will make your wardrobe the cat's meow. Our feline friend, Mr. Whiskerpaws, is the top salesman of sardines in the entire kitty kingdom. And he's here to bring this fishy flair to your fashion. On a serious note, I really hope this displays how good ChatGPT is at creating this kind of thing. If we use it for product descriptions, we use it for names of companies, we use it for FAQs, all of that good stuff, we can use it as a base template and add to it as we go. But honestly, I couldn't have done better than this. This is so, so good. Then we can come and we can select our pricing. So what are we gonna be charging on Etsy? So I think we go for $25 and that is gonna give us a $13.7 profit on every single order that we make. We can do to make it easy. We just come up there and we change the price and that automatically changes for every single color in every single size. So we're then gonna click publish and that is gonna put it on our Printify store. Now, if we wanted to level this up and go even crazier, we can come on over to the catalog and we can search through all of the products they offer. They offer Apple Watch bands, they offer canvases, sports shorts, they offer bedding, they offer stickers, they offer leggings, socks, shirts, bags, you name it. There's so much stuff on there. You can really get creative. This one example is just gonna be on this one t-shirt, but I really recommend you look through Printify, look at the catalog and start to think how you can utilize all of these different products on that one Etsy store with different designs that you come up with. So let's go back to our product here. We now have it set up on Printify and we can now use it when we go to our Etsy store. So let's open up this image here. So now what we're gonna to need to do is go back on Etsy to create our store and create our listing. You're now gonna go through how you'll get paid. So you've got to set up all your bank details. So we are all set up. Going through that process of adding your bank details is the last part for Etsy. And then we can now come on over to our store and we can see palette threads. Now we can see our listings here. What we actually don't need to do is go through Etsy every single time to add our products. We can just come on over to Printify and add a new product here. So if we click this mug, for example, and click publish, it's gonna push it to our our Etsy store automatically. And if we click on our Printify product, you can select what size you are and you can add it to your cart. Our descriptions there, our shipping times and our cost to deliver. We're gonna to wanna to come on over to our listings and we're gonna to wanna to change our shipping fee because what's gonna happen is Printify is gonna automatically assign like a shipping price. But as I mentioned, we're gonna be giving this shipping for free because we're gonna be using local suppliers wherever people order from. So we're gonna come on over to our settings and click delivery settings. We're then gonna create a shipping profile, including our local country and everywhere else saying free delivery and then let's just type in free here to name it and we can now come and apply our fixed free shipping profile to our products so let's apply that now and see what happens cool so now when we refresh our page instead of it being 10 pound it's now going to be free and people can come in place the order and it automatically goes through Printify when it's placed. We're gonna to need to create a cover photo, we're gonna to need to create a logo, and we're also gonna to need to add some more information about our shop. We're also gonna to need to add more products, but you now know exactly how to do that using Midjourney. And you can also use Midjourney to create you a logo for your store, or you can simply use something like Brandmark where we can type in our brand name, palette threads. We then choose what we are, we're clothing, we're AI, and we're fun. Let's go for this color palette. And what that's gonna do is gonna generate us a ton of different logo ideas. So there you go, you can use AI to create your logo as well. You can just copy and you can just screenshot these and then upload it to Etsy. But one thing I wanna to touch on about Etsy is you can also come and use their marketing. So this is why the platform is so good. If you come back on over to your shop manager and you click marketing, you can click on Etsy ads. Now what Etsy ads is gonna allow you to do, it's gonna allow you to set a budget per day to spend on promoting your listings. So when you first get started up, it's gonna only allow you to spend $1 per day. But as that scales and as start to get sales coming in, you're gonna be able to increase that budget. So there's kind of like a testing period with Etsy where they don't want you spending, you know, $1,000 per day just because the store's new, right? So I really recommend you going in and you set in a $1 per day budget on Etsy and just trialing out a ton of different products. Once you go through that, you'll be able to select exactly what products to market and it's gonna help you make those sales. So guys, it really is as simple as that. Once you receive an order, it's gonna go through on Printify. You're gonna be able to come up here, click orders, and you're gonna see all your orders here, and you're gonna be able to manually press place order and select which print house you want it to ship from, depending on the location 
of that customer. And there you have it. You now have the exact step-by-step -step guide that you need in order to take AI and utilize it in your very own e-commerce products like creating your own fashion brand. As we discussed, this works with a ton of different products. You can use this for posters, flyers, pillowcases, phone cases, plastic bottles, whatever it is, it works. As long as you see it on Printify, you can do the same thing and replicate it over and over again. Guys, if you found any value in this video today, smash a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Are you going to be starting this business or are you going to be giving it a go? And if you do have questions, if you are getting started, feel free to DM me on Instagram. My DMs are always open. I'm more than happy to help you guys one-on-one -on -one should you get stuck anywhere along the way thanks so much for watching guys i really really appreciate everyone who's been sticking around on my videos and showing the love on the channel i fucking love you guys so thank you so much for showing up every single time and i will catch you in the next one Bye bye